Okay, guys, this is it. Video number 600. Okay, so today, well, I'm going to show you. We're going to do a little, little testing. And what I got for you, so here is the Revolution 1 motor. This is a motor that I designed and I had made. Okay. This is a size 1 motor, meaning it will fit inside any scale width hood locomotive okay this here is a 280 like our mighty 280s but it is a size 2 it will not fit in any scale width hood so on our on our mighty 280s which are named after this motor there was a section that's much larger to accommodate this now here is one of my motors this is not a motor that you find in a in an atlas or anything else they they use the same housing but this is one of my 24 volt motors just to give you an idea of the size okay this is a size one motor they're they're basically the same but this is a 24 volt motor and if you pull out an old atlas or if you pull out a modern scale trains rapido anybody they use this housing still um so there's nothing wrong with housing at all it's just their motors are 12 volt and this one here happens to be a 24 volt it's an automotive motor but this is what we've used for a long time i just want to show you for the size now local motors we got out here we're going to be testing 280 and the rev one and the first test we're going to do is do you remember when we did that u30c that was our first guy that we did with the Rev 1 motor. Okay, there he is. Right there. All right, now what I got here is a train. I don't know if you can see back there, but you can see the first one, first car in his bulkhead flat car. It's full lead weight. And all the way down the line, those are Tyco lead weights. There are two on each one of the bulkheads. Some one of them's got three. No, a bunch of them got three. Okay, I take that back. That is a super, super heavy train. In fact, it is so heavy that most locomotives cannot pull it without a helper. And our U30C, because it's weighted down, it can get the tractive. It can get the tractive. Uh, it can get the friction to do it. But let's check it out. Let's check out the performance of it. Can it move it? It's got the weight to move it. Does it have the motor power to move it? Let's check. Let's try it. Okay, now we're going to look up here. And... Oh, that's too fast. That's way too fast. Okay, we got to put him back. That's too fast. Let's put him back to the end there. Okay, I set I set the momentum on this U30C, which has a Digitrax DH126. The momentum, the actually what is called the deceleration, is set to one. Zero means none at all. One means one tenth of a second per speed step, and it is set at one. So now let's see if I can move them up just a tiny bit. Speeds, um, okay. Speed step, seven. I guess that's my lowest. I got it set on a straight line. Look at that pulling power. Look at that. That's the Rev 1 motor. Nothing but gears is all you hear. Okay, that speeds up 29. That's pretty good. 
All right. Okay. Let's let's uh, bring him back. Bring him back on speed step ten. He's not 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 going to push. Going to push on speed step ten. Very nice. Speed step ten does not phase him. Take him up to 25. Oh, wait. Never mind. It's not speed step. It's percentage. Okay, I got him on 25%. Oh, my lord. What happened? Oh, crap. Oh, good lord. Okay. We got a, we got a tip over of a bunch of lead weights that, uh, all right. All right. And, okay. And you guys, we're not stable in the first place. Uh, I don't know if we can, let's see if we can bring you guys back by, uh, maybe stacking them up the right way, if there is such a thing, oh, 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 that's a thick one right there, okay, let's stack them up, stack them up quick, come on, yeah, come on, you guys, okay, that's too, that's too short, all right, okay, uh-huh, all right then, okay, all right, let's go ahead and, uh, stack that up, mm-hmm, so, ooh, that is not really very stable, but that doesn't really matter. Did we get a match? Oh, how about this? Now he's got to push him. Fourteen percent. He's got to push, 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 push. Are you on the track? Okay, he's not on the track, but the wheels are still turning. Oh, look at that. Put him on the track. He's actually slipping a little bit because this train is super heavy. You give him some juice. All right, there we go. Very nice. That is about, okay, pull up slack. Now let's put them, let's uh, go ahead and push them all the way down. There we go. Okay, now, that was one. Okay, so now let's check out, see our train master right there? Our train master has got a 280 because it's a train master and it's not a scale with hood. Now I did put a bunch of LEDs in there, so let's check his lights. There's the lights. Oh sweet! I turned that light down on the on the lathe. It's got a nice bright. I I put it on like I don't know what is a jar gyro light or something. He's got his beacon going on and stuff. All right, anyways. Let's, uh... Oh, there's Ferdinand and Mouse right next to him. Uh, let's just listen to him. Wait, we can't listen to him. Can we? Oh, we can a little bit. The cars that he has cannot do that crossover back there. So, let's, uh... Let's set him so he can get out. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, he should be set to get out. Let's see if he can, we can get him out of here. Okay, that's nothing but gears. He's got... Oh, yeah, that's right. So these flat cars here are super long. As you know, these are the... These are the Janus cars that we made way back when. And they are a little bit too long for a lot of stuff. And their couplers need to be uh, adjusted. Let me just let them go. 
Let me go down there. There we go. Got his momentum set at one. All right, he's down there. We'll bring him back a little bit. 25%. That's a 280 motor. Now, a size 2 motor has a lot more power than a size 1 motor. And the 280 is a 32 volt motor. I know he's going to make it through there. I don't think so. Oh, no, 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 he's not going to make it. Okay, hold up. No. These cars can only go on certain tracks. This track right here, track number five is not one of those tracks. Uh, they, I think they can go on track four. They cannot go on track five. And, oh yeah, oh, they definitely cannot. So we'll take these down back to the south side yard in a little while. Because they ain't supposed to be down here. They're not supposed to be here. Come on, really? Really? Get back on there. How much you just stay on there now? Like that. Okay. Nothing but gears is what you're hearing. That's gears. He has silicone drive shafts. That is 13%. Yeah, you can move out. I don't have a speed table set to anything other than straight line. So you can definitely move out. <laughs> okay, so our train master. It's very good. Now the thing is, with the electronics I put in there, I didn't get to really weight them down too much, other than what I put underneath the fuel tank. Okay, so now what we're going to look at, we're going to set these switches for the GP60, which has the Rev1 motor. Okay, everybody's set. All right, now, now we got our GP60 right there. Here's our GP60. Let's come over here. Now, one of the things I did learn is, see that car right there, that spotlight car? Now, this one works slightly differently because it picks up one side on one truck, other side on the other truck. Unlike that one, which picks up on one side of one wheel on one truck, so each truck picks up from both rails. That car did not detect a certain fault that I found, but that one did, and it found me two dead, dead rails. And we'll look at more, more world's greatest cleaning cars later. Because, as you know, this is a new example of the world's greatest track cleaning car ever, because it tells you where to clean. It tells you where you have shorts. It tells you where rails are dead. It tells you the information you need to know to apply the greatest track cleaning stuff ever known as elbow grease. Okay, let's watch our GP60 now. Let's just go ahead and release the train master and pick our GP60. I'm using engine driver. All right, first, let's send out, hold up for, let's turn his lights on. Okay, got his beacon. He's got no. He's got fiber optics, so his lights are not super bright. But you can see them right there. Those are fiber optics, and I think I'm set. They're probably on some kind of like gyro light or Mars light. Who knows? We'll worry about that later. Okay, so he's got some box cars. They're not heavy, but. Uh, Seven percent. Okay, 
That's the Rev 1 motor. He's pretty quiet for that. Very quiet for that. Let's uh let's get on now the next one. Wow, that's pretty quiet, huh? Considering that's silicone shafts and nothing but gears. None of my gears. Alright, so he's heading down down the rails. We're gonna bring him back. Okay, so he's got his momentum, his deceleration set at one on the Digitrax DH126. Twenty-two percent. Coming through the spaghetti bowl. Oh, oh, crap. Okay. All right, so uh, I don't know what track he was set to, but whatever it was, it was not the right one because we went off line completely. All right, you guys. Let's see if we can find out which switch. One of the switches was not thrown. One of these switches is not like the other ones. Can you tell me which one it is? I can tell you. I know which one it is right now by looking at that. Yep. Sure enough, not what we once did. Let's put them way down here. We'll bring them in. This one did give me... This GP60 gave me a lot of trouble. Gave me a ton of trouble. Dope! And gave me some more trouble. And some more trouble after that. And I'm showing you that trouble right now. Get back on there. Let's make sure that it is actually. Okay. Now, how about we get you guys switched where you're supposed to be? Okay. Now, let's try that guy again. How about this? Thirteen percent, that's good yard speed, but let's drop them down. Six percent. And let's uh, bring it forward. Six percent, that's very good yard speed. That's like really good yard speed. I think we can go lower if I could set, if I could, if I made my slider bigger on engine driver, I could go lower. Okay, now I'm going to just hit reverse right now. Boom. So the momentum kicked in and it didn't just come to an abrupt stop. Let's go 18. Let's take him out of here. All right, we're at, there is 34%. 
And let's go ahead and leave. Whoops, let's let, we're going to leave them on the bridge so get them cars back to where they go. And that's it. Man, the Revolution Motor is a huge success. And we're going to continue on and do those SD90s. But this is video number 600. Can you believe that? 600. There we go. That's it.